tax administration is built around data. Without credible and comprehensive data, an efficient tax system will be an impossibility. To function optimally, tax systems have to be aware of important statistics such as numbers of eligible individuals and businesses, volume of economic activity. To this end, the Federal Government of Nigeria has launched a tax identification number, TIN, a vital instrument to uniquely identify as well as register new taxpayers and bring them into the tax bracket. Vice President Yemel Shibajo said the ultimate outcome is increased revenues for governments and the ease of doing business for business owners who must be registered and have an identification number. So the ultimate outcome is increased revenues for government and of course the ease of doing business for practically every businessman or woman who must now be registered and who must now have an, an identification number. And this, of course, as you know, helps in every way to fund investments, social investments, human capital development, and more. I'm pleased to note that this new initiative aligns fully with the federal government's strategic objectives as contained in our Economic Recovery and Growth Plan and all of the other documents which are meant to power, to power along Nigeria's economic development. According to the Vice President, this helps to fund investment in infrastructure, social investment, human capital development, and more. Mention must also be made of how this new uh, TIN system supports our ease of doing business. I think we, we could emphasize this a bit more. The increased automation of tax systems simply frees up room for businesses small and large to thrive, away from the strictures of the unnecessary bureaucracy and all that. I think we heard also from the drama system how this reduces the possibilities of, of, of discretion and the possibilities of petty corruption, people asking for money here and there. An easier operating environment will have positive implications for corporate bottom lines as well, and a positive impact on tax revenues. For his part, the Joint Task Board Chairman, Babatunde Fowler, said, the new TIN registration system will utilize the existing data from a variety of authorized identity management agencies and help build a database that is reliable and verifiable. It is not only important that these records are available, it is equally important that records are credible and reliable and that they are accessible under a secure environment online real time. The role that data plays in today's world cannot be overemphasized. And for the revenue potentials of the country to be maximally harnessed, it is essential that credible and reliable data is available for use. Such records are also essential to facilitate the ease of doing business and for the nation to achieve its overreaching economic objectives in line with the economic recovery and growth plan. We are confident that this new system will add immense value to tax revenue administration in the country, not only in terms of processes and procedures, but in terms of efficiency and ensuring a coordinated and systematic approach towards managing revenue generation as well as tax information sharing between and among tax authorities both within and outside the country. This new system also provides immense benefits to taxpayers. The consolidated database, apart from providing a unique identity to taxpayers, also facilitates ease of compliance. All agencies critical to the optimal success of the initiative, the Central Bank of Nigeria, the Nigeria Interbank Settlement System, the National Identity Management Commission have all been directed by President Bari to provide the fullest cooperation to the JTB, especially in the release of relevant individual records. From the Presidential Villa Abuja, Ayobami Washe, reporting for Court News.